Welcome back guys. <clears throat> uh, today I'm taking a look at the new Lubuntu uh, distribution. The newest release, the 16.10, was just released <clears throat> earlier today I believe. And uh, I've gone through the same install procedure that I've been using recently. And I'll go through the uh, statistics with you. But uh, first let me say that uh, this Lubuntu install was flawless other than one minor issue and that you can see illustrated in the bottom right in the system tray I've got some duplicate icons so I've got two redshift icons two P sensor icons other than that everything else is pretty much uh, <clears throat> right on the right on the money now let me go over the uh, software with you uh, for accessories I did install several um, accessories caffeine clip it Compton redshift and synapse Chrome apps these are there because I installed Google Chrome as a browser I installed Steam uh, graphics I have not installed anything other than what's out of the box internet Google Chrome and ice and Steam office is Abby word and gene numeric uh, image magic is there and I also installed wine tricks sound and video I installed these ice uh, installations so Amazon Prime Hulu and Netflix the icons are also on the desktop those are installed through ice I installed G GUVC view Kazam OpenShot and SM player and I installed VLC also um, Lubuntu comes pretty bare bones uh, for wine I have Battle.net Hearthstone I'll go over that in a little bit more detail um, when I review the statistics for uh, system tools I installed GDebi HTOP um, NVIDIA I'll go over that in a second I did configure my printer as you can see the printer is configured no problems at all it's functioning properly I installed P sensor uh, let's see everything else is pretty much out of the box uh, let's see software updater <clears throat> it should be up to date yeah I installed all the updates prior to installing any software and preferences I installed if I go to customize look and feel I'm running Numix and I'm running uh, the Fienza icons um, but I'll go over the uh, default um, appearance items with you and as I said everything is running fine uh, I haven't experienced any issues other than the duplicate icons so let's go over the numbers and this is the uh, <coughs> DCML review criteria so this is Lubuntu 1610 I installed it to these same system specs uh, Lubuntu does not allow you to forego a bootloader during installation so um, the it makes the installation a little bit longer but in my case where I have Manjaro controlling the boot process I just installed Lubuntu to the the boat loader the bootloader to the uh, up the Lubuntu petition Wi-Fi install yes but it only recognized the dongle I did not have Broadcom during the uh, Wi-Fi install install time was 12 minutes and 14 seconds and uh, uh, probably three minutes of that was uh, devoted to installing a bootloader boot time is 10 seconds the default kernel is 4.8.0-22 generic uh, 475 megabytes RAM usage on the first boot and uh, CPU usage was less than 1% NVIDIA install I used the installer I have 367.57 and let's see I used the additional drivers module to install my drivers all three worked flawlessly 
Uh, let's see. So Broadcom, as I said, I installed it through the installer with NVIDIA. The printer I installed using the same technique that I use for all Ubuntu and Debian distributions. Netflix, yes, and everything, all of the streaming is running on Chrome and I am running, I am able to stream Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon. The default theme is Lubuntu default. The icon theme is Lubuntu. There were three wallpapers, ten icon sets, and nine themes. The desktop environment is LXDE. The window manager is Openbox. It's an Ubuntu distribution. Office is Abbey Word and GNumeric. For gaming, I installed Steam through the command line. Everything installed with Steam properly, no problems at all. <clears throat> the good news on Battle.net um, is up until now, Debian and Ubuntu were extremely difficult, very tricky to uh, get Ubuntu installed. I usually had to default to play on Linux and had somewhat of a struggle uh, in some cases with play on Linux. Uh, but in but now as of this 1610 version of Ubuntu this is the second distribution I've installed I, I started with Ubuntu Mate and this is now Lubuntu both of them installed uh, Hearthstone and Battle.net through a very easy wine tricks process which I'm going to make a, another video uh, showing that process because it appears that now as of 1610 the process to install Battle.net within Ubuntu based distros should be much easier and I have War Thunder I downloaded the installer and that is running fine so the issue is the double icons in the system tray and so far that's the only that's the only um, issue that I've had now if I open the terminal you'll see I do have screen fetch and you can see the specs that are listed here it's basically everything that I just reviewed with you if I look at HTOP <clears throat> right now with everything installed and everything um, you know the GUVC view and the Kazam everything running including all the system tray uh, applications I'm running 863 megs of RAM and the load average is running right about 1% so that's uh, very respectable now everything is running fine I don't see any issues um, other than the duplicate icons which <clears throat> hopefully that'll get resolved soon now <clears throat> I've gotten some feedback from the LXLE. I did the LXLE review a few days ago and uh, had some issues, <clears throat> far too many to overlook. And um, so, and I, I presented that information in a constructive way, and I did get some feedback from the LXLE distributor uh, or developer, and um, <clears throat> he pointed out that there were some other users who were successful in getting their drivers installed. Now I, w I was successful getting both Ubuntu and Nvidia installed however I had to jump through hoops to get that done. It wasn't as easy as this Lubuntu or any of the Ubuntu based distributions which they all have the or most of them have the driver additional drivers the driver manager and th it all works with LXLE I'm not sure why but it still doesn't work now he he dropped me a note in the comments saying did you see where I showed you that um, the uh, other users have gotten their drivers installed and other users are getting Ubuntu and I'm sorry uh, Hearthstone and Battle.net running well that's great that's absolutely fantastic and like I said maybe it's me <laughs> but <clears throat> I use the same techniques on every distribution and 
normally I am successful um, to tell me that the drivers and the and the uh, Hearthstone was installed by other users successfully is fine I understand that but it's anecdotal um, as far as I'm concerned because I can only <clears throat> I can only tell you what I'm experiencing so as I said before LXLE is a terrific distribution always has been right now it's under it's undergoing a few issues and I'm going to do another install of LXLE to see if I can find out what the what the reasons are and then I'll communicate uh, my findings I'll probably do another video I'm hoping everything goes smooth um, and we'll see because quite frankly I'm going to be comparing it to this Lubuntu install absolutely I'm going to compare it to this Lubuntu install because there's no reason that that should be any more difficult so guys that is it for this video Lubuntu uh, as I said, I'll follow up with another Hearthstone uh, <clears throat> video showing the procedure that's n the new procedure or the procedure that can now be used, a much simpler approach to getting Hearthstone working in Ubuntu 16.10 uh, distributions. So guys, uh, thanks for stopping by the channel. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Take care.